everyone, my name is Sophie Bu. I'm working at Fly High in Dubai. Please subscribe my YouTube channel if you like it. This is a big support. Uh, today, a little bit different place. This is my studio room. So, I wanted to show you my outside view. Oh, it's a very empty this space. See? <laughs> Just a little bit of show you this outside, but I like the empty empty space. Outside view is not too much bad, but anyway, if you are in front of a beach, it will be must be better. But it's okay. <laughs> so this is a Dubai. <laughs> because today, why I in my house, uh, I would recommend like you know how to make a chia pudding. I love chia pudding for my health. Maybe sometimes eat breakfast or between the, my class in the snack or after my class. I'm back home, I'm very hungry and I eat uh, chia pudding a lot. So this is very simple and make very easy. So I, I would like to let you know how to. <laughs> so we need uh, something little to jar. As with any jar is fine. And also we need um, any milk. Uh, today I will use coconut almond milk. But if you have a you like uh, milk or soya milk, rice milk or oat milk, any kind of milk when you want and then one coconut milk and chia seed I bought uh, from organic like chia seed and I put it here and baby water and also I love uh, dates so we need a date make uh, a chia pudding in the top I will make a lunch of chia pudding today, so let me start. So lunch of jar. Put in the jar first. How much you did is uh, whatever you want. Usually my spoon is very small, so so many times inside. Maybe like uh, the jar is like amount this much or if you can a little bit more to... I'm so excited to do this one because I love so much <laughs> a lot Maybe sometimes two jars, sometimes one, sometimes three. So I make really lots. So, oh yeah. After putting the jar, we I will put on um, add the milk here directly around a little bit more. I think the same size. But very important things, if you put in the jar, um, you need to steer. If you not steer, very hardly to when you afterwards. When you're soaking in the milk, after then too hard, if you have to uh, steer first before putting the uh, fridge. So I will do a little bit pinch of salt as well. Very little. After then, nicely stir. That is very important. Not just uh, put in the milk inside and then just put in the fridge. No, fridge. Usually I do same amount of uh, milk and chia seed. Or a little bit more with milk. Depends on how you like uh, Sticky. Some people love it very sticky, but you can do exactly the same, same amount. Or if you are more like a little bit juicy, 
then you will add the more milk sometimes not too much measures <laughs> so I think this one is a little bit more milk inside yes and a little bit more put on add it here and mix the well again That is really important. After that, I will put on prism. Mix the well after that, at least six hours, eight hours in the freezer. So it will be better to when you're soaking in uh, the milk inside. After that, great taste. While um, chia seed in the freezer, I will do prepare like this without uh, take out the seed in the date. So it depends on how you like sweet. I usually a uh, lot. <laughs> so this is uh, what you want. So I will prepare to get rid of seed. After then, I will put a little bit of water inside because when you we will I will do nutri bled. So sometimes too dry is not much work to uh, blender. So we need a little bit moisture. So I put in the water for a while, like a thirty minutes. Maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes. waiting 20-30 minutes I think now is ready to soak the dates so I will put in the blender inside actually I'm really scared about the blender so put in here everything and then with the coconut milk this is the coconut cream not all of them, maybe half of this one. Not half, <laughs> not enough half. So just like a little bit. Depends on how they are. I will add it or not. Start this one. Oh, I think it's very good. See, I will show you. Wow, oh, this is really like a stick. Very stick. It's enough. That kind of style. It's finished done. Uh, now, almost around six hours later, so I will show you how it uh, look like. I will show you this one, something like that. It's good. Good for mix the very sake in the milk uh, with the chia seed. So before we made a blended dates with a uh, coconut cream. So I will put on layer some this one. If you like a more sweet, you can more put lots, but you can measure how amount. Like a 
nice layer and then put in topping whatever you want to like it any topping is okay but without uh, if you don't like a date then you can do without fruit or some chocolate or crunchy I love crunchy so I put a granola on the top yeah uh, nicely and put it here any topping is no problem see the layers I don't know if you can see so now is we can enjoy just eating the chia pudding very simple and very tasty you can feel really amazing that um, the very healthy food with a really nice snack and then flavors also after when you get back home if you are not too hungry but want to eat something this is a good for to your food health so hopefully please <laughs> try make a nice snack for you anyway let me know afterwards it's really simple and very healthy hopefully you enjoyed this video how to make a chia pudding so very healthy stuff and then also sweet but very natural sweet so if you like uh, this video push the like and share this video and subscribe youtube my channel bye bye see you soon